Hey, what's going on everyone? Back here with a new information video. Now, I thought I'd make a quick intro just explaining something. So, as I explained, there's this program called Scaling on Steam that improves lag for games, especially Battle for Middle Earth. Now, I found it doesn't work very well with 1.0 version 3. It works a bit, you can feel it. But I also show you um, a Biff Me 1 mod where it runs really smoothly. So don't click off the video if you don't notice a huge difference in the first part. So sit back, relax, check the links down below and enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on everyone? Back here with the information video. Now I'm going to show you a program that you can buy very cheap on Steam that improves lag on Battle for Middle Earth. Not a huge amount, but it runs very smooth. So basically it's called lossless scaling. So you basically, you go to Steam and just type in scaling. Uh, depending on what country you live in, it's $10 for me. I tested it in my last video, it works quite well. And once you've got it, you just open it up. Once it loads, um, these are the settings you want. You can mess around with them, but um, I've got these settings. You've got performance on both sides. You can get HD support, capture, etc. And it works quite well. Um, uh, just open Battle for Middle Earth. Uh, no, I haven't got my webcam on for this video. I didn't think it was overly necessary. It's it's hard to notice when you watch someone else play it, but um, you can definitely feel the difference. But um, I always had less lag anyway, because I've got a really high resolution monitor. People say it doesn't make a difference, but when I went from 60 hertz to 185, um, I, I definitely noticed a big fucking difference. Uh, let's go skirmish uh, and we'll put that on me hard but yeah it just makes it run a little bit smoother a little bit nicer and yeah it's good and it works for all the Biff Me games and I think it works for games in general See, just that little bit smoother, it's lagging at the moment. It doesn't help that um, um, I've got it on high settings, but you can put it on, you can mess with the settings, but it just runs that little bit smoother. Um, it's more like you can't see it, but um, yeah, it just runs that bit smoother. Um, I'll see if... Welcome back to the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to check out all the links down below. I have two channels. My main one is for Lord of the Rings gameplay, and the second one is for any other side projects that I enjoy doing. Thank you all to my Patreons. It's a minimum of a dollar per month, and it helps fund the channel. And you get a little bonus. You get a private Discord, which is kind of nice, where I post behind the scenes stuff. So, like, Stuff like that. Um, I've also put up vlogs in here in the past that no one else gets access to outside of that. And yeah, if you enjoy classic gaming mainly, because I noticed on the second channel not a lot of people play a large variety of games, so I thought I'd bring that. Anyway, thank you all again, and I hope you enjoyed your time, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.